In this video, you're going to learn how to factor using a U substitution. We're going to go through three examples together so you'll get a good feel for how this works. Let's take a look at the first example. We've got this quantity here, x plus 3 squared minus this quantity, x plus 3 minus 12. So it's a little bit of a mess, a little bit complicated. But what we can do with a U substitution is make it a little bit simpler so it's easier to factor. So in this case, because you can see we have this same group here, let's go ahead and say let u equal x plus 3. So now what we can do is we can say, well, if this is u, this is going to be u squared minus, this is u, minus 12. A lot simpler now, wouldn't you agree? So now what we are going to do is we're going to say, well, what two numbers multiply to negative 12 but add to this middle coefficient negative 1? Well, that's going to be, let's see, what two numbers multiply to negative 12, add to negative 1? That's going to be negative... Uh, positive 3 and negative 4, right? Because you can see this is 3u and negative 4u, which adds up to negative 1u. 3 times negative 4 is negative 12, and u times u is u squared. You can FOIL that out. But we don't want to stop there because you can see our original variable is x, not u. So what we have to do is we say, well, hmm, if u is equal to x plus 3, let's put that back in place of u. So that's going to be x plus 3 plus this 3 here, and we've got x plus 3 minus 4. Now I would simplify this down a little bit. This is going to be x plus 6 times x minus 1, and now we have it completely factored. Now you might be saying, Mario, couldn't I just FOIL this out and combine like terms and rewrite it and then factor it? You certainly could, it just might take a little bit longer. So this is kind of a little shortcut technique, and so just another way to do it. So let's look at number 2 now. So this one, what you'll notice here is that the square root of x is actually half of this exponent's, uh, this first term's power. So what I mean by this is the square root of x is really like the one-half power. And see how this is to the first power? And so when it's in this form where the middle term's uh, exponent is half of the leading term's exponent, we call it quote-unquote quadratic form. Because you can think of factoring like you would factor a quadratic, kind of like we did over here with the u squared. So we're going to do a u substitution, and we're going to let u equal this middle term here, like this x to the 1 half. So we're going to say, let u equal x to the 1 half. And think about squaring both sides. If I square both sides, u squared is going to equal x to the 1 half squared, which 1 half times 2 is just 1. So u squared is equal to x to the first. So let's go ahead and make our substitutions now. You can see x to the 1 half, that's here. So that's going to be minus 13u. Uh, x to the first, we said that's u squared. So replace that with u squared, and then plus the 36. OK, now a lot simpler to look at and a little bit easier to factor. What two numbers multiply to 36 but add to negative 13? That's going to be, what do you think? Uh, let's see, negative 9 and negative 4, because you get negative 9u and negative 4u is negative 13u. Negative 9 times negative 4 is positive 36, and u times u is u squared. But again, we don't want to stop there because our original variable is x, not u. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, well, what was u equal to? It was x to the 1 half, or you could think of it as, you know, x to the 1 half is the square root of x. So let's go ahead and replace u with square root of x minus 9, and over here u is equal to the square root of x minus 4, and now we have it factored. Now if it was an equation, like if this was equal to 0, we could set each of these factors, each of these groups equal to 0 and solve, but for right now we're just practicing our factoring. So let's look at one more example. See if you can do this one on your own. Okay, so try this problem on your own. x to the 2 thirds minus 2 times x to the 1 third minus 15. How would you factor that? And while you're doing that, I just wanted to let you know, if you like the way that I explain things, I've got hundreds of videos like this on my Mars Math Tutoring YouTube channel where I take you through step by step how to solve different problems, and I try to simplify it, make it a little bit easier for you to understand. I also have video courses I want to make you aware of. I've got an Algebra 1 and an Algebra 2 slash College Algebra video course for sale. I've got links in the description. But for this problem, what I would do is I would recognize that we've got this kind of weird uh, group here, like this x to the one-third, right? So what I could think about is doing a u substitution. I could say let u equal x to the one-third. And if I square both sides, u squared is equal to x to the two-thirds. Because when you 
raise the power to a power, you multiply the exponent. So one third times two is two thirds. Now what I can do is I can rewrite it a little bit. So x to the two thirds, that's u squared. Over here we have minus two u, because x to the one third, and then minus 15. So you can see this is a quadratic trinomial. We want to factor it into two binomials. And let's think of two numbers that multiply to negative 15, but add to negative two. That's going to be negative five and positive three. Now we want to go back to our original variable. So since u is equal to x to the one third, let's go ahead and replace that. So x to the one third minus five, x to the one third plus three, and you've got it fully factored. So great job. If you want to see more about factoring, some of the different types like difference of two squares and a perfect square trinomials and factoring by grouping and sum and difference of cubes, check out the video I did talking about factoring right there and we'll get some more practice. I'll see you over in that video.